Yo, leave a like on this video for some chalky milk, dog. Okay, it's nice and fresh. I've kept this glass nice and cold for you. So, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm not even surprised at this point, but man, Twitter every day just continues to amaze me. Every time I think that I've seen it all, every time I think I've seen how bad cancel culture can get and how stupid people expose themselves to really be, somebody, some insane psychopath manages to manifest a level of stupidity worse than the last person. I know I've made this joke in my previous videos, but I I think ever since we hit the homo sapien update of humanity, dude, I think that God has been trolling us recently with some of this DLC. Like, he's been putting in some of the, like, old caveman NPCs into the game. I don't know, man. I'm just theorizing. But anyway, let's just cut to the chase here. So Twitter, cancel culture happens on Twitter. Swagger Souls is getting canceled again on Twitter. And who's surprised? Not me. Dude, the tweets that we're gonna read today may just be some of the worst ones yet. Like, I remember reading this first tweet that we're about to read on my phone and I I literally couldn't blink for like the next 10 seconds. I was just, my eyes were glued to my screen in just complete disbelief as to what I had just read. Dude, you have to see this. I'm just gonna read this, okay? T.W. Schlatt, spelt in like the most incorrect way humanly possible. T.W. Schlatt fits swagger souls. The epic SMP is worse than the dream SMP. It would include people like those three who are very racist, homophobic, and ableist. Plus Minecraft being a violent game, but with their comedy making it a threat to society. I mean, dog, you want to talk about a threat to society? Look in the mirror, homie. You are the threat. You are the danger to society. Like, there, there's just no way that you type up a tweet like that and you live a normal life. There's no way that somebody who, like, I, 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 homie, do you know what this is? Okay, this is a treadmill. I'm sure you've never heard of it, but let me introduce you to what it does and its functions. So in order to use a treadmill, at this point you would have to get up off of your chair that is honestly growing mold and fungus at this point. And homie, you typed up this tweet, let's keep it a buck here, I mean your chair is probably so moldy and so infested with fungus that it's honestly developing its own ecosystem right now. Dude, I put some good money on the fact that there's a small, nuanced species of reptilians growing inside of your chair right now. But that's beside the point, in order to use this treadmill you would have to get up from that chair and start walking on the treadmill to get some exercise. Okay? Exercise. Don't freak out. It's just a word. It's not gonna hurt you. But you clearly need exercise because, dude, I can't- I mean, we, we gotta talk about what this person is voicing in this tweet. I mean, just from start to finish, we have quite possibly one of the worst tweets of all time. Starting off with putting a trigger warning in front of just three individual human beings. Like, I don't understand how you get to that point where you are, are trigger warning somebody of somebody else's existence. Like, that simply shouldn't be a thing that exists, okay? Like, you can't trigger warning somebody somebody's existence. Like, honestly, do you think when Swagger Souls' mother was pregnant with baby Swagger Souls, the doctor before, you know, helping the mother to give birth to baby Swagger Souls, do you think the doctor said to the mother, yo, trigger warning, Swagger Souls? Like, absolutely not. Yeah, spoiler alert. No. The doctor didn't say that. Anyway, so like from the first like word of this tweet, we've already gotten some incredible stupidity. And I mean, that's not even diving into the subject matter of this tweet itself, which trust me, we're gonna get to. But I definitely think that it's worth noting that not even like halfway through the first line of this tweet, we've managed to figure out that this person is the holder of definitely extra chromosomes. Like if I'm this person right now, I'm definitely considering heading over to my local Goodwill and then dropping off my chromosomes for donation because, you know, they could go to somebody in need, you know, we're, we're in some trying times, you know, with the whole virus and stuff. Yeah, no, jokes aside, let's continue reading this monstrosity here. So, the epic SMP is worse than the dream SMP because it would include people like these three who are very racist, homophobic, and ableist. Now, despite this person just choosing not to include any reasons or evidence as to why any of these three people, you know, m might be racist, homophobic, or ableist, I can still very easily debunk all three of those claims even though they've just given no reason as to why they may be any of these things in the first place they just said oh yeah yeah they're racist bro just uh just trust me yeah, I take my word for it. Now, I'm not gonna try to use the, oh, I have black friends so I can't be racist argument to defend Swagger Souls, Fitz, and Schlatt here, but I will say the fact that they, you know, have creators like Tumad on their epic SMP. You know, Tumad, a, 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 uh, black creator. Yeah, that definitely helps to disprove the whole racist thing. I mean, there's just no way that people who are actually racist, like, people who actually believe in, like, segregation between the races, you know, like, actual racist people, I don't feel like those types of people would be comfortable playing Minecraft with somebody who wasn't white. I, 
I mean, I I'm just trying to make it make sense here, it just doesn't. Like, let me just think about it like this, okay? If I'm white and I'm racist, okay, why, why would I invite a black creator to play Minecraft with me? Like, I, I just, I'm, I'm stumped, guys. I, uh, I got nothing here. Oh, that's right, I wouldn't invite a black creator to play Minecraft with me because, yeah, I would be racist. But luckily, these three dudes aren't racist. So, yeah, I mean, y you know, GG well played, I guess. So, I mean, yeah, the whole racist thing is pretty easy to disprove, but, you know, in terms of the homophobia and ableism stuff, you're gonna have to give me some examples here because, I mean, I feel like it's an innocent until proven guilty here kind of thing, and, and you just haven't given any reasons as to why these three are guilty of homophobia and ableism. You might want to give some examples. Just a recommendation if you're trying to cancel this guy or any of these three people for those kind of reasons, you kind of got to, like... Provide evidence? No, 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 that's too far, that's too far, man. You gotta trust them, bro. You gotta trust them. You gotta trust them, dude. Swagger Souls is a hatred person. He's a hate-filled person. He's a white man, dude. He's full of hate. Anyway, so yeah, this tweet is just trying to cancel Swagger Souls and the squad, even though it just fails. But if that wasn't bad enough, whatever type of species ended up typing this tweet, they also felt the need to go after the game Minecraft. And even if your disability radar isn't as good as mine, where you can't really detect if somebody has special needs or not just on, you know, first sight or based on something that they might say. You know, like, if you couldn't tell that there was something wrong with this person who typed this tweet after they, like, TW'd a bunch of human beings, trying to cancel Minecraft for being a violent game, I feel like may, you know, I feel like that should be some red flags to some people. Like, this person who's typing this tweet has clearly never played Minecraft. I mean, there's just no way. There's no chance. Like, bro, if Minecraft is a violent video game, then the Me Maker channel on the Nintendo Wii is like human trafficking. Dude, Minecraft, like, dude, like, literal two-year-olds, no exaggeration, like, actual two-year-old children play Minecraft. Like, they literally, like, two-year-old children play Minecraft. Now, even though you don't act like it, I'm assuming that, you know, you typed up this tweet, so you're probably over the age of two. You know, you clearly know how to read and write. But seriously, I mean, there's no blood in Minecraft. Nobody's bones are being broken in Minecraft. Nobody's getting fatally wounded in Minecraft. The game is just rated E for everyone, okay? Everyone, the entire world could enjoy this game without fear of anything being offensive. I don't know, man, but all I'm gonna say to wrap this up is can you imagine being the sperm cell that would eventually fertilize an egg that would develop into a fetus that would eventually become a baby, right? Which would get born. The baby would eventually comprehend basic human language and words and dictation and stuff, but then things started to change as you realize that they started behaving strangely, and then imagine that, you know, that sperm cell that it used to be is now on Twitter complaining about how Minecraft is violent. I don't know, man. That just could not be me. Anyway, jokes aside, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and sub if you're new to the channel. Comment down Coca-Cola if you've made it to the end of this video. Also, follow my social medias and join the Discord server. Link's all in the description below. Special thanks to my channel members for your continued support. It really helps me out to make the content that I want to make. I also got merch out right now. You know, you cop some merch. Stickers are like five bucks. Get a shirt for 22 and get a long sleeve shirt for 27 bucks right now link in the description but that's about it i'll see you guys later